Hey y'all, thank you for tuning in. My name is Ayoka and I'm getting ready to bring you a reading for Taurus. So if your sun, moon, or rising is in Taurus, welcome to my channel. If you are Taurus lover, what's good? All right, y'all, so flip the rolls as you see fit. Um, make sure you're using the spirit of discernment as you're viewing this video. Everything in the message may not be for you, so please take what you need and leave what you don't need, all right? I am a healing and manifestation channel. My goal is to help you to evolve, so remember that any low vibrational feelings or thoughts, check in with your higher self. Please do not express them through the comments. I definitely greatly appreciate each and every last one of you guys who are tuned in. Thank you to my OGs and thank you to my new subscribers as well. Now, let me set my intentions because we have to be protected as we go through these spiritual gates. All right, it'd be real out in these streets, okay? Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, my angelic guides, for helping me with this collective Taurus reading. Protect us as we go through the spiritual gates to commune with you. Close the gates to anything that's not in alignment with the divine's will or the purpose of this reading. Thank you for using me as the messenger. And so it is. <clears throat> Show me what I need to see for Taurus. What is Taurus energy? Don't forget, y'all, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Every time you hit the like button, it helps my videos to circulate around YouTube, even if it doesn't resonate. Still help the sister out because why? We are out here as light workers doing a service, okay? Somebody may need the message even if you don't. Thank you. It's something here that you need to go within about. The Goddess of the Moon card has come out, okay? The answers you need are inside, okay? So, of you. That could be past energy, Right? Okay, it's something here with the envy card coming out. Something you may feel dissatisfied by. All right? So, even if this isn't your energy, this is someone in your story. Cross watchers, take it as if I'm speaking directly to you. Thank you. Show me what I need to see here. <clears throat> something here you're not satisfied about. You need to go within. Okay? Victory card comes out in the upright position. So, it's about your success. Let me read the victory card <clears throat> from the book. Sorry, y'all. I may do that a lot throughout the reading. Um, I do get triggered like really easy with my allergies. And I got the heat on because here in Baltimore, Maryland, it's cold. And the heat always does it every time. So, Let's see. <clears throat> So victory is about your success and achievements, okay? So literally success is on on its way to you and um, it could be a great outer success or it may be a deeper inner change that you've been exerting a lot of effort towards, all right? But whatever that is, it's like you got to let yourself open up to victory on every level, okay? Every single level, all right, so something here is keeping you like kind of withdrawn or not or blocked in your intuition here. So let me see something. Even with that here, you may be tapping in and going in to see what that feeling is. You know how sometimes you have this lack of dissatisfaction and you're like, where is this coming from? Okay, what is this about? And you may be actually going within to find the answers. Um, but, you know, whatever, wherever you fall on this scale. Get in where you fit in, right? Tell me what the goddess of the moon card is referencing. Show me about the goddess of the moon card. Tell me what this goddess of the moon card is referencing. <clears throat> okay, so there's... It. With the Three of Pentacles coming out here in a um, reverse position, there's a lack of cohesion here with you and someone, okay? Um, and it's almost as if they're not working on this or they're not putting any type of effort here into your situation, all right? They're not trying to cultivate anything. It's just like a total imbalance here between you two, okay? Or it was, right? And it may have ended badly with the Ten of Swords coming out in an upright position. And overall, what I see with that is like whatever happened, it definitely um, hurt. It left some scars. Um, you may even be thinking about it. Show me what I need to see here. Why do they need to go with this? Yep, it has a lot to do with love because the Ace of Cups is in the reverse. Okay, show me what I need to do. See, here, the hang one. All right, so they left you waiting. You were very uncertain about this. But what I, I hear is that everything that you've been going through was to help you to change your perspective. 
Okay, so while you were in this waiting period, you were supposed to gain a new perspective, right? Overall, show me what I need to see. And, you know, gaining a new perspective could be about, you know, a mindset, a habit, a pattern, emotional, um, something emotional, right? Maybe something that um, it could even be around love, like how you view or see love, right? Or yourself. But overall, it's requiring you to have some type of patience, okay? Because the temperance card is coming out in the upright position. And with this, behind the scenes, I definitely see that you have an angel that is helping to bring temperance into your situation as you go into this new beginning. And you got to remember, the sun always rises again, right? Every time it sets, it comes back up in the morning, okay? So each new day is an opportunity here to start new, to start fresh. But it requires what? Optimism. It, it requires positivity. It requires you trusting your inner voice, okay? Show me what I need to see here. Yeah, so basically that's what it is. It's like go within when it comes to this situation. Why? Because someone is getting ready to come in, okay? They either, either are already in your energy or they're working their way towards you. Um, and it may have ended with them in some kind of way. It's a knight of wands uh, coming in and they're knight, okay? So <laughs> they come in though. They're determined. They're ready to pursue whatever the goal is that they have in mind here with you, Taurus. So that, that energy coming in, though, is so quick, it could be like reckless. Like when it's that night energy, it's kind of like, I ain't going to say immature, but it's very inexperienced. Let's just put it that way. It's like, all right, this person just knows, like, look, I got this goal. It ain't no planet. It ain't nothing. It's like, I got to go for it. Okay. Um, show me what I need to see in regards to this. Yeah, it's a breakthrough coming for you, Taurus. Ace of Swords and an Upright in Love. Wow. This came out in my reading I did um, today for my collective reading. Someone is getting ready to get a breakthrough in love. A Knight of Wands is coming in. Okay? And they're coming in quickly. Go within with this situation because you, this situation, you weren't satisfied. Either this person was jealous of you or envied you or vice versa, however it go, okay? And it's a breakthrough coming through. Some truth or some clarity is going to uh, actually come out of this situation. I want to even read to you guys what that is. Somebody you could have been married to. Somebody you may have had a very just strong bond with, a, a really good connection with is what I'm seeing. Uh, it could even be your twin. But however... You had to make some type of self-honoring choice for yourself is what I also see with that card. Some type of decision here, a healthy decision for yourself when it came to this. So let me um, read this Ace of Swords to y'all so you can see. I hate when the apps move around on the, um, <laughs> on your iPad. Even on the iPhone, it does it. It'd be like, why did it move? I didn't move it. Then I got to go searching for stuff. Ace of Swords meaning when it comes to love. Okay, so someone's ready to pr to face some type of problem honestly with you or some type of communication is going to come through for you in regards to this, okay? And um, yeah, this is a lot of communication that's going to be coming through between you and whoever this lover is to you. Where y'all going to be able to confront whatever the issues is that you had, okay? So that you can get to some type of understanding between you two, okay? So it could be a heated discussion. It could go either way because it's a two-edged sword, right? So, but it's about some type of truth, okay? When it comes to this situation. Now, go within. Wow. Ha! Taurus. Mm. I have a Taurus moon in rising. So I'm over here. You know myself because sometimes... The energy is mine too. I'm thinking like, who the fuck is this, right? Who is this? Get ready, come through. Show me what I need to see with the envy card. Yep, you had to take, um, make this personal transition here with this. You left behind what no longer serves you. You left a relationship or something here um, to go after your happiness for real with the four cups in the reverse. 
because you was over that situation. Whatever happened there, I do feel like, you know, you, yeah, you were withdrawn or something. But however, it's like you gained some type of awareness, okay? And you chose to take a transition from that situation here. And you stayed optimistic about it with the star card. You endured a lot of challenges within this situation, but you stay connected to your faith, your hope, all of that, right? Your positivity. And what I keep seeing on this card is these stars. So the stars have or are aligning for you. This is why this abundance is coming in in this way. It's coming in from all avenues is what I'm seeing. <clears throat> Show me what I need to see here. This was a very emotional situation where, you know, it left you feeling very exposed, very exposed. I feel like you're very transparent too about what's going on in your life. But overall, it ended with the death card, right? It was a karmic cycle that had to come to an end. You you are definitely going through a transformation, um, Taurus, or this person is going through some type of transformation here. And... It's like they want to be able to make things get better with you. Okay, so I do see you were caught up in some type of karmic loop. <coughs> and with the two of wands coming out with up, upright position here, you had to make some type of adjustments for yourself. It was a lot of adjustments that you had to make. You made a choice. Like, you know what? I'm just going to jump out here. Um, I'm going to operate. You know, I'm a, I'm single. I'm single. <laughs> I'm going to be single. I'd rather do that than... And that meant changing your whole lifestyle. And you did not know what was ahead of you. But you just kind of just went out there. And you just done it. You freed yourself. You freed yourself from that situation. You made whatever necessary adjustments that you had to. And I see here you're coming in very regal. So it's like you've grown and you've learned a lot. Yeah, because that situation definitely was just like, bam, same cards came out. Ten of Swords, Eight of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles. Ended badly. Lack of cohesion between you two. Guess what? Now the pen is in your hand. Dag on the canvas. This is your time to create your story is what I'm seeing here, okay? And to work on what it is that you desire for yourself. That other person wasn't making any effort or putting any effort into this situation here. This is why they're like, go within with this because um, there could be a sense of some type of jealousy still lingering, some type of envy. And I don't feel like this is coming from you, uh, Taurus. <clears throat> yeah three of swords coming out it's like they're telling you like hey hold up hold up this might be you know it was a lot of heartbreak and grief you you know you gotta forgive yeah most definitely forgive and move on after the pain but go within because it's still some stuff here yep the judgment card is in the reverse some stuff here that's going on where um, it may create some type of self-doubt within you. But I'm also seeing that this person hasn't really done the self-evaluation. Tell me why the success uh, victory card is here. Okay, because someone wants to, it's like they've been saying everything is fine, okay, or you may be saying everything is fine, and really, it's not. It's like, it's st you're still holding on to it, or this person may be still holding on to something about how you guys ended, or how, you know, toxic or traumatic your situation could have been, all right? And it's like they want to be able to see some type of victory come out of this. Yep, three of wands. You could have felt extremely restricted within this situation here. You didn't see any progress or growth or any type of expansion. And here you are sitting as the Empress, Taurus, coming in with this Empress energy. You were always the prize is what I'm saying. This person may feel like you were always the prize, right? And they, they just totally overlooked you. 
Look at this. The Empress had to go through this, three of swords, or you had to go through the heartbreak just to see that you were actually the Empress. <clears throat> That you actually are abundant. That you actually attract happiness. That you actually um, are fertile. Uh, all of that. That you birth new ideas. The strength card. The sun card. The seven of wands. The ace of pentacles. All of these are in reverse position. Okay. You felt powerless. Your confidence could have been low within that situation. You were blocked in your happiness, had to deal, had a lot of inner childhood wounds and um, trauma that have come um, about through that situation here. You had to compete. Okay, other people were competing with you is what I'm pulling in. And Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. It was unfruitful. And what you're trying to do is to succeed. Whether it's in love, yep, with the lovers. You're trying to succeed, okay? You're trying to find companionships or you want partnerships that are um, in alignment, basically. Tell me what I need to see. Yeah, and, and look at this. You come in and Queen of Wands energy. So you're already self-assured. You're already confident. You're already boss-like energy. You got plenty of admirers. It's like you're sitting on your throne right now. Yeah, somebody wants to resolve these issues. Somebody's ready to reconcile here with you. Okay. Um, it could be yep, somebody you were married to. Or it could be your twin flame or someone coming in to gain some type of victory here with you. Mm -hmm. So choose, um, I, I feel like it, it should be like a balance, you know, with the queen of swords coming out in the reverse, they're usually very vocal, but it's, it's, it's like that, that blunt that be like, whoo, my grandmother, when she would cuss you out, she would cuss you out. And that's what it, it just reminds me of. It's somebody who's very blunt, but it's very straightforward. And it's just like, you know, fuck you, right? That type of energy. Balance your energies here. It's like you can set, set a healthy boundary for yourself with this person, okay? Stand in your integrity. Speak your truth. Don't hold back on none of that because what you're trying to manifest for your life is the page of pentacles is in a reverse position. You don't want to um, not to continue to go through whatever this process that you're going through here in your life. All right. You don't want to have any type of delays. You you've been already trying to figure out how to channel this energy. OK, but yeah, don't throw yourself out. Don't throw yourself back into old habits, old mindsets, things of that nature. Okay, so let me get some um, advice though overall. Let me see what's, what's some good advice for you guys when it comes to this. I'm going to use my Archangel Michael deck. Can I get some advice when it comes to this overall? So you're safe. You're guarded and you're protected. So this could be a situation here where you may have not felt safe. And you didn't feel like all your needs were met in this situation here, okay? But you got an angel, you got Archangel Michael that's protecting you and ensuring that you are safe. So this person may be coming in because they may be ready to make a commitment. I'm also hearing commit to yourself, commit to your life, and commit to your divine life purpose. Let that guide you so that you can fully open up your heart to every experience, okay? Um, I'm, I'm going to read the uh, book for that one, too. And then it says, go forward fearlessly. Okay, so let me read that one. I was reading the card real quick just to see what it says. But... <sighs>
Okay, so for make a commitment, it says, you drew this card because you're asking about how to improve a situation. Michael advises you to fully commit to your de desired outcome. If you're, if you're tentative or unsure, if you're deserving or worthy enough, then the final result will be unsatisfactory. However, by making a commitment, you'll help spark movement in this connection. Commit to your current relationship to create more intimacy and satisfaction. Allow yourself to fully enjoy each moment. Completely immerse yourself in an exciting project. If you are a musician or an artist, become deeply mindful of every note played or each stroke of your paintbrush. Be confident as you speak and write. I feel like somebody's getting ready to make a commitment to you, Vir um, <laughs> look, Virgo, Taurus. And they're coming in fearlessly, okay? They're coming in um, with that Knight of Swords energy. Definitely. Wow. Let me see. Yep, this person feels like it's safe to move forward now with this plan. And they focus on their heart desire, which is you. Okay, they're ready to take action no matter how small or seemingly inconsequential it is towards their desired outcome. It's just that they know that they have to come in and to do something. Okay. Um, okay. Yep. Now, let's see if this, it says here that this is the right choice for you. Okay. Give me some guidance for Taurus in regards to this situation. Cupid. <laughs> so this person that's coming in, they, they're definitely soulmate energy. The lovers, all I keep seeing is twin flame. So Cupid has arrow strikes for the most part. Look. <laughs> I'm like, hold up. Let me read that one too. Look, <laughs> you're like, wait, I wasn't expecting this. It just came out of nowhere, didn't it? It never really comes out and be like, yeah, somebody going to commit to you. Like, commitment is coming. It's in the air. So it says, mm. Look, that was the wrong one. I was like a child. What they talking about? So this card comes to you because the angels see your desire for romance, all right? So instead of fixing the external in your love life, they assist you eternally. So yep, a lot of you have been, you know, going through your um, healing, okay? Learning to love yourself more. And it says here, yep, you fell in love with yourself overall. And because that love was awakened within you, this is how you're attracting this. This is why this romantic love is coming in to you. Because you are now loving yourself more. Wow. And. Okay. So these are additional meanings. I was trying to see like, I, do I want to read all of these? But basically it says, surround yourself with romantic beauty such as roses and candles. Give any emotional emotional hurts to the angels. Ask Archangel Michael to help you release any painful attachments to previous or current lovers. Clearly decide what you desire in your love life and affirm it is safe for me to love and be loved. And this is what this is really happening for you, Taurus. I know you probably was like, what the? <laughs> what the? I was not expecting that. Okay, thank you. Ooh, pathway. It's been a uh, rough journey but on this journey you have been transforming and at the end of it you see the light that's shining down so it's like you're almost at the end of this pathway somebody is thinking about you heavily with this thoughts card i'm gonna pull um tarot on here of course it's a masculine energy and i feel like they always think about you thank you show me what i need to see some of you are definitely artists. Mature woman. Okay, so you could be a mature woman. 
when I see mature women say like I'm I'm over 40, so I, I think of, yeah, I would be mature more. <laughs> Look, a mature woman, even though sometimes I'd be like, I don't feel it. Courtship. So they're ready to date you. That came out too in my um general reading today. What is these thoughts about? Ooh. <clears throat> What are these thoughts about? Let's do it again. What are these thoughts about here? <laughs> what are these thoughts about? Thank you. Four of Pentacles. Someone doesn't want to let you go. And what I see is like they're holding on tightly to something. What is that about? The will of fortune in the reverse. So that what they're thinking about also is like they're holding on to something from the past. Okay, they're they're I feel like they're thinking about how things were bad with you, like it didn't progress, right? It just seems like it was just a bad situation overall. But that will of fortune card in a reverse position, that's like some type of karmic cycle. Some type of karma was playing out here, is what I'm seeing. And this person does still heavily. Think about that. Show me what I need to see. They even think about how you made these adjustments in your life and how you literally, look at her, have leveled up. It seems like this person here on the card is now like, even though they're in thought, it's like this confidence that I keep feeling that comes off of her on this card. But it's like... They want to be able to make some type of adjustments is what I'm seeing too as well. Okay. For the, they, it, and that's what came to me. I keep hearing it from the last reading. <coughs> they want to right or wrong. With the justice card in the reverse. So whatever the injustice was, they're trying to make some adjustments here. Yep. Because they see you as the empress. Wow. Maybe a mature woman. Like I was saying, but let me pull on this mature woman. Tell me about this mature woman. Tell me about the mature woman. Thank you. A lot of cards came out. That was too many, my spirit team. Tell me about the mature woman. Come on. I'm about to go to another deck if I can't get these things rolling through my fingers. Tell me about the mature woman here. Okay, so you may, if you are this mature woman, you may have been, um, this was the one side of relationship or connection or whatever it was, you was doing too much by yourself. You may may even was overextending yourself um, within this connection. But I feel like because <clears throat> you are mature, um, but however, or you may, you know, if you're not older, you may act older, right? But I feel like that could have been learned behavior too as well. So it's kind of coming through your, your experience to be that way. Okay, this is why you weren't seeing any real progress within the situation or you weren't expanding or weren't growing. I feel like this is a habit that you may you may have. I, I definitely am hearing that you have been learning to not over give, right? To not overextend yourself. Okay, so you have learned a lot of lessons um, but overall, it's like that the restrictions, there was a lot of restrictions here within this situation. Tell me about this here. But things are getting ready to clear up with the moon card coming out in the reverse position. Yep, this is why progress is getting ready to take place. Also, Ace of Wands is here in an upright position. So, this is about a new beginning that's really happening in your life right now. And it's getting ready to happen suddenly. Like, this is going to be fast movement. That's why I was like, damn, it just seemed like it came out of nowhere here. Okay? You may ride a motorcycle or this person may ride a motorcycle. It doesn't have to be. Or somebody could be coming from a distance. <clears throat> doesn't have to be i'm just pointing out some things here that i see you on a card all right so tell me about the courtship card tell me about the 
courtship card. So I got a Queen of Swords came out, but that was in the reverse position. Why is that in the reverse position? Show me what I want to need to see. Oh, okay. Mm. So what I see here with this Queen of Swords energy, this is a, a feminine energy that's coming through. And the Queen of Swords in the reverse, like I was telling y'all before, is just extremely like, just like, bam, they just kind of toxic. I ain't even gonna lie. Okay. Um, overall, somebody was given to two people. That's what I'm seeing. With the Six of Pentacles here in the upright position. Or somebody is. Seven of Swords is also right beside it. Okay, so whatever that is, is some type of manipulation or dishonesty or lies or something or someone's trying to spare somebody's goddamn feelings. Whatever's happening here, show me what I need to see. How is it leading up to this courtship? Oh, that's ending. Oh, damn. With the death card. That's ending. Someone's ready to um, come in and date you. That's where I see the victory. Wow. The sun is getting ready to rise again on you. Tell me more about this envy card. <clears throat> Tell me about this envy card. <clears throat> Trust your intuition. And that's the same thing for the goddess within. Why? Why are you... I wanted to tie together. It may be making sense as you guys are listening, but in my mind, I'm still trying to put it together. Patience and planning. Tell me more. Two pillars. Recognition and rewards. Show me again. Suffering and silence. Oh, okay. Emotionally withdrawn. I want to look up this patience and planning. Trust your intuition with this because you're either patient and you're being patient in your planning or it may require some patience in planning. Okay? Right. So you won't make the same, I don't want to say mistakes, but won't uh, do the same things over again. Now, um, patience and planning. This is the red. So with this card, it says, good things come to those who wait. This card signifies the quality of patience and letting go of control. You should now pause, rest, assess, and rethink what's in front of you before continuing. That's why. Trust your intuition about this. Okay, so this card is just basically reminding you to reevaluate the goals that you are seeking, whether it's in love or in your finances. Take this time to review each area one by one. <clears throat> there is no rush when you're planning for a successful future. That's why you don't want to, and I said it right, you don't want to be dissatisfied because what you're looking for is success. So that was good. Okay. Notice what has worked well for you in the past and what hasn't. Okay, but just make just basically focus on what has been working well for you in the past, not what you or other people believe to be true, but in actual positive experiences. While you're at this reflecting stage, you can stand back and plan how you are going to handle potentially difficult complex decisions and situations that may arise in the future that's what's going on they want you to reevaluate everything before 
this comes in because this person is coming in to offer you commitment and you don't want to be what go back to old habits patterns mindset ways any of that okay you want victory so they're still asking you to you know be in that queen of swords energy still still stand in your integrity still speak your truth still stay self-sufficient right trust your intuition because you did a lot of suffering in silence You may have like let things become bigger than what they really were, you know, because it was wary. You know how you worry so much. And that and they don't want you to, yeah, they like, no, no, reevaluate this, okay? <laughs> Withdraw your energy for a minute. Um, you don't want to be emotionally withdrawn either. Okay, so it's a lot for you to reflect and think about right now. Oh, okay, because I was in a pair like, no, make this clear to me, Spirit, because I, I need help with that. <laughs> All right, so let me see something real quick, and then I'm going to end it for y'all. Tell me about this. <clears throat> Tell me what I need to do today. It's like a lot keep basically the same things. It's, it's requiring you because communication is key so it's requiring good communication queen of swords and the upright energy not the reverse because some of y'all may can like ooh, cut your mouth cut like a sword telling you you may like <laughs> chop them down like you know what you motherfucker <laughs> so communication is key the emotions are going to be running high this is why they like don't be in that queen of swords reverse energy sharp or sharp with your tongue Okay, balance spirituality and practicality. So bring a balance here. It's about duality overall. Operate in both masculine and feminine energies when it comes to this. This is why they like trust your, your wisdom overall because you want to be able to use your intuition, but you also want to be logical too at the same time. Okay, whew, Taurus. That was a doozy, but I definitely get and understand the message. So I hope you do too. All right, so I will definitely try to get back to you guys probably next week. Um, if so, yeah, because my schedule is clearing up. We are going on winter break from school. So I won't be facilitating for at least about two months. And I'm super excited. So, you know, I'm already about to go hard in the sauce for y'all. Today I was home and I literally got like what four readings done five readings done today where normally i can't put energy in it i may get one reading or two readings out in a day and my goal i'm trying to raise it to get about eight or nine readings in a day um for you guys so send me love and light y'all all right i love y'all peace <laughs>